Okay, let's go ahead and solve this equation here. This is negative 3y equals negative 15. All right, so I have my equation down here. And I'm going to go ahead and explain this step by step. Now remember, when you're solving an equation, the objective is to get the variable by itself on the left-hand side of the equation. Okay, so you're going to get, what we're looking to do is going to get y equals some number. And that number is our solution. Okay, and that means that we have solved the equation. All right, now, in order to do this, we have to take some steps. Now, in this case, all we have to do is take one step. So we have negative 3y. That means negative 3 times y. Okay, so negative 3 times y, or negative 3y equals negative 15. So the question really is this, or what it's stating, okay, kind of think of it this way. Negative 3 times some number, okay, we're just calling that y, is equal to negative 15. So just think about that for a second. So negative 3 times what number will get you back to negative 15? Right, so you probably think about that and you might say, well, I know that a negative times a positive will give me a negative. So this, this here okay, probably has to be a positive number and you'd be correct. And 3 times 5 is 15. So negative 3 times 5 is going to be our solution, right? Or excuse me. 5 is going to be our solution because negative 3 times 5 is equal to negative 15. So, I mean, mentally on these real easy equations, that's how you kind of want to think about it. But here we have to kind of start learning the steps to solve this equation. So negative 3 times y or negative 3y equals negative 15. So the first thing you want to do, okay, is to say what can I do to this equation such that I get y equal to itself, okay? Well, in this case, if I had this negative 3 in front of this y, and I only want a 1 in front of that y, which just means y, okay? These are the same, 1y or y, it's the same thing. What can I do? Well, if you think about it, if I divide negative 3 by itself, if you divide, well, let me ask you this, anything divided by itself is what? It's always 1, correct? It doesn't make a difference what it is. So anything divided by itself is 1. So if I took that negative 3 and I divided it by negative 3, I'm going to get 1, and that's what I want. But here's the thing in algebra. If I'm going to divide the left-hand side of the equation by negative 3, you have to, have to, have to divide the right-hand side of the equation by negative 3. And that's the main principle when you solve an equation. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. Okay? So now we have negative 3 divided by negative 3. Okay, negative 3y divided by negative 3 will give us 1y. And then we have negative 15 divided by a negative 3. And of course, you have to know your positive and negative number rules, okay? And if you and if you don't know those, then you're going to you know have a tough time doing these, doing these equations. But negative 15 divided by negative 3 is a positive 5, okay? So our solution is y equals 5. Okay, so you don't have to write the one in front of this y, but I want you to understand that that's what that means, okay? Uh, y equals 5 means 1y equals 5, and that is your solution. Okay, so this is just one example to kind of get you going. You have to learn how to walk before you can run. But please come on over to our site, algebratesthelping.com. We have tons of free resources, lots and lots of videos to help you out, uh, notes, etc. And I uh, wish you all the best. Have a good day.